How's it going today? It's Brad with AfterMarketTractorParts.com. Uh, we got John Deere 4955 here today. We're going to do the injection pump one. So this pump is not the same pump, but the same process on any John Deere tractor, the P-Pump one, the 4450s, all the way up through these big series. And very common. So, um, real easy pump to do. Two things you got to kind of have. One thing that really helps, um, this sort of rotates the engine. So on the back of here, there is two plugs. This one goes in there. That rotates the engine. If you don't have it, you got a good friend. You get on the front of it and you rotate it. So when you do that though, take a 5 16th bolt, put it in the other hole, hold pressure on it until it drops in the hole. When it does, does not mean that you're ready to take the pump off. So your next step is you take this Allen head off. There's an Allen plug here. You take it off and you look in there and see if you can see the marks that Adam's trying to see. There'll be two marks that line up. Nope. Really doing good here nope. with that camera. They're not board. there. They're not there. They are there. <laughs> there they are. All right. Hopefully you can see them. So if them two are lined up, that means you're on TDC number one. And you can pull the pump. Okay. So pulling the pump, obviously you got to take stuff off. I'm not going to explain how to take injection lines off and things of that nature. But uh, I always pull this uh, oil filter base off. You don't have to, but it makes it a lot easier. Um, on the front of this pump, there's a plate up here in the timing cover. You take that plate off. There's four 3 8 bolts with a 12 point head. Take in bolts out and the gear is okay to move. No big deal. Um, try to keep it where it's at because it will help you when you're going back together. But if it moves around, no big deal. Then you pull the whole pump off. Take the four nuts off. You take the whole pump off, send it away, get it fixed. When you go back together, so obviously don't touch nothing in the meantime. When you go back together, put that pump in there, and that front gear has slots. So if the gear happened to move, just keep moving the gear until your slots are lined up with the holes. And then make sure your two lines are lined up and put it together and tighten everything up. So in front bolts, I always just put a little bit of blue Loctite on them and tighten them to like 35 foot pounds. Um, and they'll be fine. Uh, everything else, snug tight. The two bolts in the back are a pain in the butt. Um, you gotta about have a swivel socket to get to them. But um, that's the easiest way to do these. Real simple. You gotta pin it down here at the flywheel and make sure these are good. If you're questioning it at all and you don't know for sure, take your valve cover off, all right? So that pin's gonna drop in on either TDC number one or TDC number six. So if it's on number one, your valves on number one should be loose. You know, if you have the valve cover off, they should both have lash. You know, there should both be clearance on them. Um, if it's number six, they'll be back here. So on any deer of this nature, so the valves will be one, two, three will be loose. You'll skip one, it'll be loose. You'll skip one, it'll be loose. You'll skip one, it'll be loose. If that's the way it is, it's on TDC number one. If it's the opposite of that, it's on TDC number six. Make sure you do that before you take the bump off. If you do that, make your lines here, pin it, you'll be good. Thanks. All right, there's the two lines. Obviously, you can see them now. Good luck. Thanks.